So I'm going to I'm going to go to this part again and then um show you that part. So that is that is um that is this part. That is this part that we're going to deal with. So what you can do over here, right? What you can do over here is to actually change um these things. So whatever depending on what you're working on or depending on what you're working on so if it's not say um restaurants that you're dealing with it is something maybe you might not even need all these columns or uh, all these spaces over here right so in this case i have um i have i have this many spaces over here so maybe depending on the particular project that you'll be working on you might not need this one two three four five six seven eight you might not need all these right so or maybe you, you might even need more than that so you can change all those over here right so this is this is where um this is where you can you can actually change it right so yeah this is where you can actually change it all right so if you see this part you can see that i have name here to be order online the placeholder the placeholder here is what order online right so if i zoom in a little bit for you right okay you can see it's over here all right you can see the placeholder to be order online so that's exactly what you can see over here that's what you can see that we have order online being being in there right so you can see the placeholder is written as order online so it's the same thing right? so you can just keep on changing these things according to the features that you're dealing with right you, you can see that we have um book table we have book table over here right the name is the name is book table the placeholder we name it as book table so you can change it so maybe this this book table right that's that's this one that's the second one that you can see over here book table so i can change it i can change it maybe um I, i'm just going to write something here so that you can see that it's possible to change this i so i'm just going to write maybe i just change this let's see how it looks okay so i'm going to i'm just going to do this then i'm going to refresh this page i'm going to refresh this page now book table now you see that it has changed i just changed this let's see how it looks so it's just as simple as that you can just change it as as you wish right you can just um change it as you wish so um that is it that is it you can see you can see um the next one is vote right the placeholder is vote that's what you can see here vote so if i refresh again i've changed it back so you see the book table is there vote is there um and the next one is location right you can see location there the next one is um restaurant type right restaurant type right so the name is just the same thing restaurant type restaurant type four of them right so you can see the restaurant type is there we have um cuisines right we have cuisines that's what you can see over here we have um we have cost okay we have cost so you can see cost over here we have we have item uh, menu item right you have menu item here so you can see menu item here that's basically everything that you need that's basically everything that you need and that's what you can see and then the predict button right the predict button is what you can see over here right so that one is a button right so I mean, uh, we're using we're using this tag. There's just an HTML tag to create a button. So that's what you can actually see. The last one to be a button over there. Okay. So I think right now you know. I mean, you have an idea of the things that you can actually change from here, right? That is first changing the Zomato logo, right? So that is um that's what you can see over here. You can change it. You can change um the right the 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 top right logo that you can see here. You can change that also. You can also change um some of the other things that you, you you don't you don't i mean you feel like customizing you can change all of them so this is the uh, tds logo that you can see this is the background right and then this is the um the buttons that you can actually see over there okay so um i think this is quite clear for you this is quite clear for you to really understand this all right so now this is done this is this part is done. now let me show you um let me show you what is contained in the style.css so over here i mean there's not much to change you can just add the same thing you can just add the same thing and then um just 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 relax some of the things that you can change is um you see the button color here right so the predict button color you can change it you can change it so that you have, where you can change if you go over here i've written something there for you right you can change this for the predict button color i've put it there for you so if you want to change it you can actually change it over there right so these are the colors that you can change you can see that we have hash um this this just um 
a color code right so you can change all these color codes right you can change them right you can just play around with them right you can just play around with them if you see um if you see if you go all the way down here you can change this one which is um what you can change i've written something for you over there change the test color right so the test color that you can see over here you can change all this test color right change um you see that i've written here change this for the input background right so you can change all of them right? so you can see that this one is white you can change it to whatever you want okay so this, uh, these are some of the things that you need. So you can just use the same CSS templates if you want. You can use the same um, HTML template. You don't need to really do anything. And then the model.py is just a simple, um, just a simple um, code, small, small lines of code that you can use because we've already done everything in the Jupyter Notebook. All right, so you don't really need to do much over here, right? You don't really need to do much over here. So, I mean, basically that's the main files that you need. Now, um, let's, let's see what is inside this app, app.py, right? Let's see what is inside this app.py. So, so we're going to have a constructor here. So you can see that we have, um, we have app, right? After, after we imported the libraries, you can see that, uh, we have, we have, let me get to this pen here. You can see that we have, we have this, um, flask and then we have, we have the constructor over here and then we have model dot model dot load right and then we have our model dot pickle that we created that's why we when we, we we first created this so that we can actually use it okay then we're using app app dot root over here so we can think of root as as um you can think of a root as a path right you can think of a root as a path to a specific url right to a specific url so if we take for instance um if we take for instance um tds website so let me go to total data science so if we take for instance so in order for us to um actually arrive at say total data science project training right in order for us to arrive here you can see that we have https then total data science.com then we have a forward slash we have forward slash courses then forward slash so these forward slashes are being used to direct to specific urls okay so when you go to um, say courses, right? It's another, it's a URL. If you go to, from courses, you can now go to data science projects training. Okay. So that is, that is another URL. Okay. So the route that you can think of the route or you can think of the route as, as a path, right? That is directing us to specific, um, URLs. Okay. So that is basically what's, what we're doing over here. That's what you're doing over here. All right. That's what you're doing over here. So you do that, and then as soon as you call, as soon as you call a function, like for instance, um, this home function, it's actually going to direct you to the home, right? It's actually going to direct you to the home, and then what you're going to use is to do use this um render template, right? To render this this template that we've created, right? Remember that we've created index.html, right? We have index.html, so this is actually going to redirect us to that to that um to that for that uh, that html file that we have right that which is going to be our home which is going to be our home so it's going to render that template for us okay and then you can see that we have another route here so you can think of the route as a path right a path to certain destinations okay let me actually get rid of this a path to certain destinations right so you can use that one to direct to certain destinations so you can go to home you can if you take um tds website for instance you can go to home you can go to courses right you can go to courses you can go to um um project training you can go to say um downloads right you can go to downloads and download all the books that you want right you can go to say um machine learning machine learning page right and then you can go get all the articles and the machine learning books that you want so the route you can think of the route as directing us to these specific urls okay so you can see over here we direct to home then there are certain there are certain thing that we need to do there then we have a route which will direct us to predict right to make the prediction so in order to do that right we have a method we have a method so method will help you to um, perform specific actions so in this case we have post over here so post is doing nothing but um this it's actually going to do this so over here um the what we're going to submit inside here so we're going to post something so whether they offer online or not so we post one over there okay whether there's a booking or not whether i mean there's a table booking or not so we can post to say zero okay that's the post that you can actually see over there okay so that's basically what you can actually see over here and um 
it's, it's just it's just quite simple so after that is after that is done um after that is done now you can do the prediction over here so you can see that we have um as i said the if you call any function right if you call the, this specific function then it's going to um direct you to the specific uh, route that you that you that you you've provided right so you call the home function then it's going to direct you to the specific um route or that or path that you you specify right so you call say predict is going to direct you using this route is going to actually direct you to that specific um place so if you see the predict inside the predict right so let me minimize this one a bit okay if you see inside the predict you can see that um these are the things that we have we see that we have features over here so you're saying that int x for x in request dot form dot value so form is nothing but this thing that we've created right so form is nothing but um but this that we've created over here right so this is the form that we've created over here so uh, that was just accepting inputs and then um we are having um predictions over here okay so that is that is basically what you have over here so we 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 we're going to um input some some we're going to post some um some inputs in there right we're going to post some inputs in there in order to to have um predictions right we're going to post some inputs in there okay so for each of the inputs that we provided we are going to provide right what we're going to do is to convert everything to an array right convert everything to an array and then uh make predictions right we're using model dot predict and then we're going to predict on the on the features that we are going to submit right we're going to predict on the features that we're going to submit remember that um we have this model because we loaded this right we loaded our model when when we we go to say model.py right we save we save everything we save everything in what is called model.pkl right so when, when we come back to app.py what we're going to do is that we need to load that so we use pkl.load right and then we load that one right we load that one and then we store it in a variable called model right we store in a variable called model so that's why over here you can see that we're using model dot predict to make the prediction okay so we're using pkl that's actually going to help us to render our model um, via the uh, i mean via the internet right so that's basically what um that's what basically what we're doing over here and then we're going to predict on the features that we're going to select, right? So the features are nothing but these features that we're going to provide, right? So we have um we have order online, right? We have book table, right? So these are the features that we're going to submit. So whatever we submit in this in this form or these features, that's what we're going to base on to make the predictions, right? So we need we do model dot predict on the features, right? That we've selected, right? And then we store everything in what's called prediction. Okay, so now our output will be equal to prediction. Um, we just we just uh, run at the prediction into into a two decimal places because um I mean that's actually going to make more sense when we're talking about ratings. Okay, Let's see we we it's better we do four point one for a restaurant to have a rating of four point one than uh, for a rate for a restaurant to have a rating of um say for four point one six seven eight nine right. So I mean that's one doesn't actually resonate so if if we take this one off if we take this one off right and then um if we take this one off and then go and then run it again right let me actually input these ones there right let me just give some random so i'm just typing any 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 random numbers in there right so cuisine maybe this okay Then if I do predict, now you can see what we have over here. You can see what we have. We have thirty point nine six seven five zero 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 seven, right? We have, I mean, this this kind of ugly numbers over there. That's why we are rounding it over here, right? That's why we are rounding it over here to just one decimal, um, just one decimal place. Okay. So now if I run it again, let me just put something something. Just put any random numbers in there. Okay, so if I do predict, now you can see that we're having a very nice um, rating over there. Okay, so that's what we're doing at the background over there. Right, so um, at the, I mean, at the, at the final stage, what you need to do is to return 
right? Return um, uses this render dot template to return the output that we have, right? So we pass in the index dot html. That is what we've created here, right? We pass in that, and then um, we do um, prediction test. That is your rating is, and um, then we pass in the rating that the person will have, right? Dot format dot output, right? The output is nothing but um, the output of of the prediction. Okay. So basically that's what we have. That's what we have over here, right? So you can just change this test. So this test is just what you can see over here. Your rating is right? it's just the same test that we've put over here. Okay. So that is, that is actually done. That is actually done. That is actually done. And, um, we've talked about the model. We talk about the app. We've talked about the HTML and the CSS. So basically that is it. That is everything that you need to know about this, right? That's everything. So after you create it, so this is the new one that we, we were working with. So over here, you might not be having anything. So what you need to do is to just follow the same thing, just follow the same thing that we've done and then, um, start creating it your own way. Just, um, edit it as you want, right? Just edit it as you want. And uh, I mean, the model is going to be the same, but if you are working with a different problem statement, you just follow um, the same sequence, then you just come up with uh, the same thing, right? So keep on, I mean, um, manipulating it or editing it or customizing it as, as you prefer. Okay, just keep on um, customizing it as you prefer. Now, um, that is done. What you can do is, um, what you can do is, is let me go a little bit uh, higher for you to see. So if you want to run the app, right? If you want to run the app, what you what you do to run the app is um let me um stop this one. Okay, now you can use Control C to stop what it's running, right? So what you run is um you just if you want to run the app, you you you, you do Python, right? Python and then your app name, right? So app dot uh, app dot py. So that's all, and then you press enter. That's how you run it. Okay. So if I press enter here, right, this is what I have, right? So let me, let me even clear this screen. This is, I mean, for things to become clear for you, let me just do this. Okay. All right. So now what you want to do is, um, finally what you, how you, how you run it is you do Python, right? Python, and then your app name app dot pi right that's all and then you press enter so it's going to run and then you have this you can just click on this url to open your browser or you can just um copy the url and then you paste it at whatever where you want to paste it and then you run it okay so basically that is all you need to know that is all you need to know to run um your flask app right you, you that's all you need to know to run your flask app so follow the steps and then um build your own customize it the way you want and then build your own app all right, so see you in the next project. Have a nice day.